Greetings, greetings, and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So I'm going to produce a series of videos as and when I feel like it, because I don't really care about this topic very much. It's a, it's a load of garbage, by the way. It's something called real analysis. And it's a pity that even the textbooks that were printed with this, this book is by Rudin, by the way, uh, that the paper was wasted on this and also storing this utter garbage is uh, also uh, a crime against humanity. The idiot who wrote this is someone called Walter Rudin, a professor of mathematics, a non-mathematician from the University of Wisconsin in Madison City. So principles of mathematical analysis, this is the third edition. So what I'm going to do is just give you an introduction right now. I'm going to relax, try to relax, because this topic really gets on my nerves because of all the stupidity. And this was, by the way, copyrighted in 1964, and I think it was reprinted again, or recopyrighted in 1976. Not that any intelligent person would want to copy this garbage. So it's interesting how these uh, books start. We, we have the preface, so we'll, we'll read through the preface first, but... Let's look at the chapter. So the first one is the real and complex number systems. Okay. So first of all, in mathematics, um, there is no such thing as a number system. Okay. That's just a, a totally misused, misunderstood phrase. There is no number system. It's just numbers. Okay. And it's the way we represent numbers that matters. If you want to call that a number system, fine, but there is no such thing as a number system. And of course, there is no such thing as a real number or a complex number. Well, we'll get to that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the introduction. It is a load of crap, but it's important to note that the first thing in the first chapter, we're going to be dealing with real and complex number systems. So let's move down. Okay. So let's go to the preface. Uh, okay. Here's the preface. Um, so watch what how the preface is written. Let's begin. This book is, oh, by the way, I took real analysis in the first year of my mathematics course, not as an advanced undergraduate. So this book is intended to serve as a text for the course in analysis that is usually taken by advanced undergraduates or by first year students who study mathematics. The present edition and this isn't mathematics, by the way, that's the irony. The present edition covers essentially the same topics as the second one. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Let's just read on. Uh, let's start on the first chapter, okay? Because the, the preface is usually a lot of rubbish. So the real and complex number systems. This is important. Introduction, a satisfactory discussion of the main concepts of analysis, such as convergence, continuity, differentiation, and integration. Ironically, mainstream mathematics academics know nothing about those four topics. Absolutely zero, by the way. Whatever they know, they know rote fashion. Okay. So yes, they have things like the ratio test, the comparison test, BS, and all that crap. But... It says it must, now notice this, pay attention, must be based on an accurately defined number concept. Do you see that? Now, here's the irony. Go to Google and say define number in mathematics. <laughs> A number is an arithmetic value used to represent quantity. Well, well, well. And here in Wikipedia, we see a number is a mathematical object. Let's go to Wikipedia because this is the latest bullshit of the mainstream. A number is a mathematical object, okay, which is an abstract concept, by the way. Not arising in mathematics. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a real mathematical concept, then it is mathematics. But it's used to count, measure, and label. Ironically, count and measure mean exactly the same thing. So... You know, mainstream academics love verbal diarrhea. I mean, it comes out of their mouths and their asses. And label. Label is the same thing as a name, okay? And so it tries to define 
number, by the way, and it goes into a whole lot of drivel here. But of course, uh, Rudin doesn't, you know, even do that. He just says, must be accurately defined number concept. So we'll see now, how does he define the number concept? He says, we shall not, we, we morons of mainstream mathematics academia, we shall not, however, enter into any discussion of the axioms that govern, oh, well, 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 that the govern the arithmetic of integers. First of all, that statement is loaded with bullshit. There are no axioms that cover the arithmetic of integers. First of all, it's the arithmetic of all ratios of magnitudes because long before number came along, we had ratios of magnitudes. Now, you'll see that if you look at my article called Gabriel Arithmetic, okay, I prove that all arithmetic comes from ratios of numbers and that really a number is just the measure of a ratio, actually. That's all a number is. Uh, more accurately stated, more accurately stated, a number is a name. See this thing with label? They're all confused. Uh, with Wikipedia, it's, it's, it's a name, it's a label that is given to the measure, okay, that describes a ratio of magnitudes. And you'll find all of that in my world-class article, first time revealed since the ancient Greeks, and by the way, it was never published by the ancient Greeks, nor by Euclid. I was the first to publish this information, okay? I am a genius. And of course, nobody before me had the, the intelligence or the capability to realize these important facts. And in here, I show you how to do the four basic operations of arithmetic, okay? And I've already produced videos on it, so I'm not going to spend time with this. But, so again, this very first sentence and the second sentence are filled with bullshit. We shall not, however, enter into any discussion of the axioms. Well, there are no axioms in mathematics. Not in, and it's not arithmetic of the integers, it's arithmetic of the ratios of magnitudes. The arithmetic uh, from the ratios of mag magnitudes is transferred intact to algebra through the abstract unit, okay? Get that? but assume familiarity with the racial, with the rational numbers. <laughs> wow. So now, um, so he's, this, this fucking idiot, Walter Rudin, is talking about the arithmetic of integers, but then he's talking about rational numbers. So, so the numbers of the form n, m over m, when, where m and n, there is so much circularity in that, people. Don't you see it? You fucking morons, wake up. I'm speaking to you to enlighten you, to pull your head out of your anuses, to wake you up, okay? So I haven't even gotten past the first paragraph, and it's all wrong. It's all BS. And then immediately, without even knowing what a fucking number system is, because this idiot, Walter Rudin, didn't define it, by the way. Where did he define it? Nowhere. He talked about it in the preface, but there's no definition of it. Okay. And by the way, I'm going to be brutal because this needs brutal treatment. This needs to be extracted out of mathematics, uh, out of ma mathematics courses worldwide. It's not mathematics. Okay. The rational number system. He begins to talk about the rational number system. We don't even know what number systems are. We don't know what rational means. We don't even know what rational number means at this stage. But, but he says, a satisfactory discussion of the main concepts of the analysis must be based on an accurately defined number concept. Did you notice how much time I spent on that, you young fucking morons between the ages of 18 and 25? Did you notice? I read carefully. I'm not like you. I'm 63 year old. You fucking cunts. Wake up. The rational number system is inadequate for many purposes, both as a field as, and as an audit set. <laughs> we haven't even got it as a field. We don't know what a field is. We don't know what an audit set is. And we don't even know what a number system, never mind irrational, is, but it's inadequate, okay? Both as a field and as order set. These terms will be defined. Oh, dear. So now he's, 
without defining them, they will be defined in sections 1.6 and 1.12 because you know what? Because they're defined circularly and because these apes don't understand what they're talking about. So they want to establish a lot of shit first on which they can build more shit. This is like what they teach you when they teach you your, your trade of mathematics is the field of mathematics is set theory. And when they teach you set theory, they teach you how you can obtain uh, sets from more sets. That's their, it's a typical phrase that most moron professors use in an introductory course to the foundations of modern mathematics. So for instance, there is no rational piece such that, what the fuck does that even mean? You haven't defined numbers. We don't even know what two is. We don't know anything about algebra. We shall prove this presently. <sighs> Can you see? We've only we've not even gone past the second paragraph yet. This leads to the introduction of so-called irrational numbers, which are often written as infinite decimal expansions. Wow, whatever an infinite decimal expansion is, and approximate it by these. Now notice, I, the great John Gabriel, don't give you concepts that haven't been defined. Everything I give you is defined from scratch, you little bastard to get on my channel and post your two cents drivel. When you masturbate, your brain goes uh, dumb and it's already dumb and it goes dumber. So stop masturbating and get your head out of your anus. Okay, so a, a well-written well book doesn't start off with a whole lot of terminology, which means absolutely BS. And, and then, of course, look at this. Thus, the sequence. Oh, and we still don't even know what a sequence is. But that's coming. Don't worry. We'll produce all this shit because if, if he just had to give you this from the beginning, you'd say, wow. So, so what they're doing is they priming your brain. They're coating it with shit so that they can add the final layer of shit. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's the sequence tends to square root two. What the fuck is square root two? What is the symbol? But unless the irrational number has been clearly defined, the question must arise, just what is it that the sequence tends to? <laughs> oh, suddenly, suddenly the idiot got a, a what is it called? Uh, a, a conscious moment. So this sort of question can be answered as soon as the so-called real number system is constructed. All right, so the first proof he gives you is an ancient proof by Hippasus of the, of, the, of the square root, not the square root, but of the irrationality of the, or, or the incommensurable, rather let me rephrase it, of the immeasurable ratio, square diagonal to square side. Okay, so that's the first one he gives, gives to you. And then he goes through that a little bit and explains it and says, ah, all right, this is the final conclusion, that it can't be rational. And you still, by the way, at this stage, all you know is that rational is m over n. But m over n can be a number. n, he still hasn't defined number. Okay? He says, we can't enter into discussion until we've defined it. Well, up till this stage, he said nothing about number. I mean, nothing about the definition of number. All you have is this bullshit on Wikipedia. Okay? So I'm being brutal because I have to. So I think I'm going to leave it at this point, and I'll continue with uh, introductions. <laughs> and look at this. Uh, the first thing you get is non-mathematics, and I'll deal with this in the next video, okay? Because this definition now is just something they throw at you. Uh, and, of course, ordered set and field. And, and so you've got all these introductions that make them feel smart and make them feel erudite, but they're actually the most incompetent lincoln poops on the planet. And if you look at a math dissertation, any PhD dissertation, it's full of this crap, full of it, okay? Full of bullshit. I mean, it's unremarkable drivel from the beginning, from the very first drop of ink right to the last bit. So, okay, that's pretty much it. I'm John Gabriel. If you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber. And if you want to know how we got arithmetic, this is the article you come to, okay? This is the article. Never been published before. It's in the top 4% already. Soon it will be in the top 0.0.1%, okay? 
That's because I know what I'm talking about. And the majority of you, 99.999 recurring, are idiots. So that's pretty much it. Become a member of my channel. For $4.99, you can get access to a lot more information. And because I'm a little winded right now, I'm struggling with my lungs. I will stop at this point and continue at a later time. Till next time, goodbye.